Many thanks to Daisy Podcast, Pandemonium, Fellow Trucks and Village Servers, Atlas, MG Over and the Mouse, One Original Daisy Servers, Sheriff Lion, Sauerkraut, Sergeant Pepper's Daisy Invasion Server, PGZ Servers, Dust Vanilla Servers, and Wasty for making this video possible. Daisy has a hidden stat that for years instantly kills our characters when it reaches zero, explaining why a wolf can sometimes one shot you, or why you can die instantly at full health while wearing a helmet, with this stat giving us no indication of how low it is, or when the next source of damage is going to instantly kill us. So in this video we're going to investigate the two different ways that this mysterious stat can kill us, why a single punch can kill a full health fully armoured player, and explain how all of this ties into the bone stat. To understand how this secretive insta-death stat works, I must first get everybody up to speed with our recent discoveries on how the bone stat works in DZ. The bone stat is a lot like the health stat that we have down here in the corner, but it's a health stat that's attached to each and every body part on our characters, which is coded into the game to, I guess, simulate the bones in a human body. These simulated bones take damage independently of each other every time you get attacked or take full damage, and when one of these body parts reaches zero bone stat, that bone will then become broken, which is what happens when you break your leg in DZ. At the moment, the only bone you can currently break is your leg bone that slowly regenerates at 0.06 bone stat per second until you get to 100 bone stat, allowing you to walk normally again and making this icon disappear. This healing process can be sped up by using a crafted splint on yourself because it instantly restores a good chunk of this bone stat based on your current bone stat value, but other than that, there are no other factors in DZ that change how quickly you regen the leg bone stat. Now all of the other bones in your body can technically become zero bone stat too, but nothing happens when it comes to your torso, your left arm, or your right arm, so you can't break people's arms at the moment, and you can't break their spines either, at least not yet. However, when it comes to your head, you will instantly die when your head bone stat reaches zero, exactly the same as your leg bone stat reaching zero, if your head bone stat reaches zero, regardless of your health stat over here, or any other factor in the game, you will die instantly. This means you can technically be at a very high health level over here, but hidden below at a very low head bone stat level, resulting in you getting one-shotted with or without a helmet. This is what happens when a wolf attacks you, it hits you in the head, resulting in your death. On the previous engine for Daisy, many many years ago, there was a similar way of dying in Daisy in that every time you got attacked, this hidden bone stat, which is very similar to this head bone stat, would go down over time as you played, eventually killing you mysteriously in one hit that many believed was just a bug at the time. Back then, the Daisy community called this hidden stat the Woe Bone due to how it was discovered on this channel and how it was related to the bone stat, in that it was restored by using a splint on yourself. From that video onwards, players would use a splint every few hours of playtime to restore this deadly hidden stat that they couldn't see, that basically weakens you the longer you survive because it wouldn't regenerate on its own, and you can't really avoid getting hit by infected. Now, in 2023, the Woe Bone has returned, but it is very different this time around, as you're about to discover. To begin with, I'm not the first person to notice this hidden stat, many players have reported it as a bug over the years to the devs, so I guess it is kind of like the previous version of the Woe Bone, loads of people have reported it as a bug, because getting one-shotted by a wolf is a bit much, even for the most hardcore Daisy fan out there. Second, this hidden stat only drains when your head is damaged, unlike the previous version of the Woe Bone that covered your torso. When your torso was attacked, this was attacked, but now it's your head. Your head has to be damaged in order to hit this hidden stat. Third, and most importantly here, the current version of the Woe Bone cannot be restored using a splint or morphine, codeine painkillers, EpiPens, saline bags, calcium milk, whatever you want to call it, and any other method that I could dream up. However, fourth, and finally for this version of the Woe Bone, it regenerates like a leg fracture does, slowly and steadily restoring itself over time. The boy bone starts with 33 bone stat at full, so when you spawn into the game it's 33, which is much slower than any other bone stat in our bodies, and also regenerates at the slowest rate too compared to any other bone. The way the Woe Bone regenerates is very similar to how the health stat regenerates down here, which if you didn't know, regenerates solely based on the blood level of your character, so the higher that your blood is, the faster your health stat regens here, and also now, the faster your hidden bone stat for your head regenerates too. At maximum blood then, you regenerate 0.042 to the head bone stat every single second, meaning you can fully regenerate this stat, this hidden stat, in 13 minutes after taking a headshot and surviving. If you're extremely low blood though, you will regenerate this stat 6 times slower, so the longest you will have to wait to regenerate your woe bone fully is 78 minutes. 
However, the head bone stat or woe bone is the only body part that regenerates this way. All the other body parts or bone parts you could say in Daisy regenerate at 0.06 bone stat per second like I said earlier with the leg stat making this stat very unique. In fact this stat is so unique that getting the woe bone to zero isn't the only way that it can kill you. The second way this hidden woe bone can kill you is if it goes lower than 10% of your health stat here. So for example if you're at 50 health here and you get shot in the head resulting in your woe bone going lower than 5 which is 10% of your current health, you would die instantly too. So the woe bone doesn't need to be zero to kill you, which just basically increases the chance of you dying due to this stat. The devs have said that this mechanic is intentional and even explained how it worked here. When head health is below 10% of health, player dies, global health becomes zero. Damage is affected by armor, some helmets, masks and goggles. We have tested this extensively and everything behaves the way it is supposed to. Now I don't know if I'm just being really dumb here, but I'm not completely sure why this stat is even in the game or what it's realistically supposed to represent from a survival or a mechanical point of view. If any of you have an idea, please do share it below in the comments, because a stat that likely gets us killed just as much as this health stat reaching zero, being hidden from our view and instantly killing us, really does confuse me. Now I don't believe it's because the devs want bullets to do more damage during headshots because there's literally a multiplier in the game files for health damage and shock damage on the head body part or any other body part. They can tweak this for firearms and melee attacks to the head and they even have a brain hitbox inside the head to simulate a bullet penetrating the brain instantly killing you if you're not wearing a helmet. I say all this because from my decades of no life gaming experience the best mechanics tend to be the ones that give you feedback when you screw up because if you don't get feedback and you just see the you are dead screen it's kind of like like, yeah. If this mechanic stays the way that it is, the only advice I can give you is to get yourself a helmet as soon as possible. Any helmet is going to save you here. The military helmets are going to be better. But if you take any damage to your head in any form, even with a helmet on, wait at least 10 minutes before going back into combat. Or if you're at low blood, wait 6 times longer. So wait an hour before going back into combat to avoid being one-shotted easier. Be especially careful of wolves, they can hit you straight in the head, even with a helmet on you can die from this mechanic and also a fresh spawn can kill you in 6 punches to the head. In the future I'll cover how much every single helmet and hat protects us in DayZ and how much helmets reduce the woe bone damage from firearms and melee attacks. For now though it's important to remember that health damage, shock damage and bone damage are applied to our character's body parts in different ways. For bone damage, it's a 1 to 1 ratio with health damage when shooting for the head of a player, so any weapon that does more than 33 health damage will instantly kill that player that isn't wearing a helmet, which is a lot of weapons in DayZ. If you want to learn how to achieve maximum blood, health and bone regeneration in DayZ, check out this video, and if you want to learn more about how the bone stat works, see this video, or you can learn about the brain hitbox and body part multipliers using this video here. Let me know your stance on this mechanic below, or if you have any ideas to improve this mechanic. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.